Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. We're with Force Factor 10, who is our gravity force field controller. I've been playing her a lot lately. She's a really fun character to play. I've done several episodes with her. She's at level 43 right now. And we are over here in Cimarora. And uh, last night I, I saw that I had a new, um, a new contact named Daedalus. So I came over here and he gave me a little short uh, story arc that I did. It was like three missions. Uh, the second mission, he had to fight uh, Ghost Widow, who was an elite boss. That was pretty tough. But he gave me a new um, story arc as well, a second story arc. And I thought I'd go ahead and film that one uh, while we do that. So this is where this guy uh, is at. And once you hit level 40, he's just given to you as, a, as a, a contact. You don't have to talk to anyone else about it. So I had this mission. Okay, so what he's told us was... Uh, you have come to the right time, for once again I must impose on your good nature and heroic spirit. During a recent experiment, one of my devices picked up strange energies. After some study, I was able to track the source of these energies. The trail led straight to your time, to the future. Those you call the Malta Group have cast a covetous eye on Simarora. Whatever their fell plan is, it must not come to pass. I fear I was not able to trace their energy source to precise location, but I did learn enough to know that these future foes are operating out of your own Paragon City, in a place you call Peregrine Island. I would ask you to travel there and check your sources for any information that may have they on this plan incursion. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to Peregrine Island and see what's going on over here. Let's uh, go ahead and slip through our Ouroboros portal. And this should be a three-story uh, three story, story arc, three-mission story arc. And let's see what this they have in store for us. All right. So talk to Crimson in Peregrine Island. So sometimes you find these little story arcs like this kind of in nooks and crannies and stuff. And uh, sometimes it can be pretty fun. All right, for a situation report. The situation is quiet, almost too quiet. It's like the Malta group has gone silent. They're losing ground in to Nemesis, who's starting to encroach on their operation. Ask for more information on the Malta group. I don't have any hard data, but I think Marta, Malta's up to something big. They've been too quiet. If you want to find out what they're doing and stop it, it'd be a positive action. You can start by shaking some information out of those Nemesis clowns. They've been pushing in on some Malta ops, and might have some information on where Malta's been hiding out. Start there and see where it leads you. Good luck, Force Factor 10. Let me know what you find out. So, oh, it's a little uh, street sweeping thing. So we're going to find some Malta and uh, beat the heck out of 15 of them. So I think, I think they're not over here. Yeah, there's a lot of carnies over here. I think they're over down on this end over here. So there we go. All right. Let's put out our put out our singularity. Let's interrogate these gentlemen. Singularity is taking. Bit of a beating, it looks like. What the heck. Got off the mission thing. Oh well. These guys are a little tough. There we go. So that's three down. All right, we're going to continue to fight these guys. Here's some lower level guys. And uh, I will be back when we uh, get some information on these guys. My mission keeps disappearing up here. Man. All right, I'll be right back. 
All right, we finished off a couple extra just for a good measure. And we got a clue. Let's see what this clue has to say. Uh, one of the Nemesis soldiers uh, you questioned revealed the location of a secret Malta base on Peregrine Island. The soldier didn't know what went on in the base, but it should be easy for you to figure out with a little personal attention to the matter. All right. So find the information. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to go invisible on me here. I tell you, the uh, stealth and invisibility have been a really big help on this character. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, misdirection, though, is was kind of a waste of a power slot. I, I've, I've used it like maybe five times, and I think it only worked maybe twice, and it's not really that good. Um, it's kind of sad because I, I use um, uh, Placate on my Bane all the time. It's a fantastic power. It's part of my usual, my regular um, uh, attack chain. But on this character, it's just kind of useless. So I don't recommend misdirection. All right. Is this the secret base? Let's go back to stealth. Good thing about stealth is uh, my defense is a little bit lower, but it doesn't drop very much when I'm actually uh, fighting. It's a little bit more powerful. This guy's kind of tough. Mm, this guy's a little tough here. These multi guys are uh, in trouble. I did find that when I was fighting the Nemesis just now, uh, the the lieutenant, maybe I guess it was maybe a boss, um, he uh, was not completely confused or uh, or under my control when I was hitting him with the gravity distortion. It was uh, it was working, but he was still able to sometimes move around and do so. He broke out of his my control kind of easily. <laughs> that may be a problem for later on. Find Mr. Jansen, or defeat Mr. Jansen. Ooh, okay, there's a gunslinger. So, uh, let's go ahead and pull him over here. XP on that one, too. There's some conversation going on over here. It's a sapper. Oh, those guys. Oh, yeah, these guys suck all your uh, endurance out. Oh, man. Do I have a... Uh, do I have endurance drain resistance on this character? Oh... Oh, boy. Okay, this is going to be a problem. So, go after these sappers first. That's going to be the key. And I miss. Oh, that's great. That's that's great. I have like a 95 or 99% chance of hitting, and I miss. The engineer over there is calling for reinforcements somehow. Yep. Engineers have auto turrets. I, I'm missing a lot. Damn. These multi guys are not fooling around. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's let me take a look here. Let me show what we're what we're working with here. Um, I have got, where's it at, in combat jumping, I have uh, Kismet Accuracy, and plus defense to everything, so this actually boosts me up quite a bit. This is a unique, and it increases my uh, accuracy on all attacks to 6%, and it's constant, so 
in pretty good shape. Right? I've got uh, stuff going on. So I've got combat jumping going on all the time. So if I still miss, and I've got a lot of uh, uh, to hit too. So let, let me show you this thing. Yeah, accuracy bonus. I got my uh, the seven percent there. To hit bonus. Oh yeah, seven percent there. I've got a uh, kismet accuracy six percent there. So I'm who's that pretty good. I've got everything well slotted too. So I don't know. Maybe that's just bad luck. Let's see what happens next. One way to go. Now, how did he throw his grenade up? I had him under control. Come on now, come on. I can I can accept if a, if a boss has, has, can get past my control. These are minions. Come on now. These are minions. Gladiator Strike. I think that's a I think that's a very expensive one. I just got that recipe. Gladiator Strike damage accurate. I think that's a big one. I think that's a big money for me. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ah, I only got the one of them. Only got the one. All right, gunslinger. This guy's the lieutenant. officer. Let's try and wormhole him over here. Got it. Sometimes they do get stuck in the wall like that, which helps out. I'm going to go ahead and put this on hold while I uh, continue to look for Mr. Jansen. And we'll be back when I, when I find him. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. It looks like we're getting to the final room here. Oops. Last minute uh, flying the ointment. Uh, looks like that's probably Mr. Jansen there. All right, let's wormhole these jokers. Right back there. All right, now Mr. Jansen. This guy's talking pretty tough. In fact, I have him completely under my control. All right. Here's the files we need, I think. Or does it not have the information we need? Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
There's a couple of guys over here. Let's going after them. Let's try this computer. There we go. Let's check out the clue. These computer files describe a detailed plan for invading Cimarora. The Malta group plans to use an experimental temporal flux device to create a rift through time that will enable them to send a large group of operatives back to Cimarora. While they won't be in communication with the invasion force, the Malta leadership is certain their forces will be sufficient to contain the Cimarron threat before it becomes a problem in our time. The rest of the file is filled with technical information on the temporal flux device. You think Daedalus should be able to make good use of the technical specifications. Because those ancient guys from thousands of years ago always couldn't understand technical specs. Okay, let's see what he has to say. My suspicions, were, my suspicions were correct. This Malta group is planning a strike against Sweet Cimarora. They intend to invasion through time itself. I shall study the information on their device. I believe I can see the pattern they weave through it. Perhaps with a little time, I'll be able to create a counter to unravel their workings. No doubt such an undertaking will require your efforts, so please speak with me again. Future Threat Part 2. The information you gave me is fascinating. The people from your time can use lady science to do so much, so much, yet they're still a, they, yeah, they still seek to pervert her for their own nefarious ends. But we have a chance to restore the lady's honor and use her good offices to prevent these villains from achieving their goal. My analysis of the Malta Group's plan has revealed a flaw. The method of travel they are, intend to use is to move their forces through time employs a specific frequency of energy. If we shield some Aurora from that energy, Malta will not be able to send his troops here and we will be safe. To build this shield will require both our efforts. I must ask you once again to return to Peregrine Island. Oh, again, I'm already here. The files you gave me contain the location of Cray Industries Warehouse that contains the plans and the parts needed to craft the power supply needed to power, power the machine. I have designed to produce the shield. All right. You are a noble lady indeed. Once you have recovered the plans, you must use the machine you will find there to, to assemble the parts. That will manufacture the power supply. Please bring that to me as soon as possible, for I fear the Malta will begin to test the time travel soon. All right. Go back to invisible. Because this is a pretty, uh, this is a high level map. So there's a bunch of people here that can kill me. <laughs> just even as I'm just flying through. So we need to create a power supply for Daedalus. All right, so again, we need to, to avoid any of those sapper guys. And the engineers can create those uh, turrets, which are also pretty powerful. All right, we'll learn about our enemies. Still. There's another guy over there. Okay, I'm going to fight my way through here, and we'll be back as soon as uh, I find some of these parts to find. Look at this, there's going to be three parts to find, and then a schematic. So I'm going to be looking for four things, probably in boxes as we go through. So I'll be back when I get those things together, and we'll go to the next step. All right, we're in this warehouse, and look how we found the project manager, Robinson, who's uh, who saw us pretty quick. Oops. He's a high-level Cray person.
We got, we got one of the uh, parts to find. Still looking for the other freak pieces. Here's Agent Oakley. Also with Cray. All right, let's see what else is going on down here. Let's see if we can find some more parts. There's a part over there, and there's something over there, too. Just tear through these guys. Singularity, take her off, finish her off. Okay, now there's this thing up here. You have access to Cray Energy Fabricator MK1. Please note that unauthorized use of this machine will result in your termination. Please in input item schematic and required materials. Oh, okay. I'm not ready to do that yet. I still need another part in the schematics, but we're going to get those parts and then come back here. All right, so let's see where we're at on the map. Yeah, I, uh, I skipped this part over here went over this way. So I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit, and uh, we will be back in just a few minutes. Okay, we have just about got the last of these, and here is the uh, desk. I already have the other uh, pieces. This should be the schematic. Got it. All right, so let's head back to the uh, that little box, the little machinery we got to use. There we go. This is a pretty good sized warehouse. I think another way to do this was you could just go invisible, and you could just kind of probably do it a lot faster. That's okay. Trying to get some more XP. I want to get level 44 tonight if I can. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Press the start button. Oh, I thought it'd be more to it than that. Uh, schematic and materials deposited. Thank you. Initiating testing sequence. Do not power down this machine. Remove the schematic. Check. Boom, boom, boom. Process complete. Have a nice day. Perfect. Okay. Chat with our contact. This is the last piece I need for my device. Thank you. Allow me to go and install it, and we'll see what we'll do the job that it must. Future threat finale. Force Factor 10, we haven't much time. The Malta Group has sent a scouting force in advance of their invasion. We must stop this Malta invasion. Defeat the Malta Group's invasion. This force must be defeated, but if I divert my efforts from my crafting, I will be unable to complete the shielding device. For the love of Simorora, go to the battlefield and stand against these invaders. Your valiant efforts in the battlefield will allow me to finish my temporal shield. Through your might and my craft, we will make a two-pronged strike against the Malta group and their threat to Simorora forever. All right, so I just got to get back over there. Let's see, the best way of going to... Let's see, the, uh, you can get there from uh, Founders Falls, Steel Canyon, and uh, I can't remember the other one. Is it Krotoa or Steel Canyon? I don't remember. Uh, we'll just go through Steel Canyon. Where's that other entrance? I don't remember. We'll find out in just a minute, though. All right, we'll do a roundabout way. So I will be right back when we um, actually make it there. Be right back. Okay, we are in Steel Canyon going into the um, Midnight Club. Let's go through here. Uh, yeah, Kroto is the other one. Uh, Steel Canyon, Croatoa, and Founders Falls. OK. 
Okay, let's see where this mission is. I guess it'll be a it'll be a door to something. Oh wow, it's a big door. <laughs> I thought it'd just be a little a little cave door or something. This is the big door, man. All right. Oh heck, this may be a bit of a big deal. Let's see. The sense of high-tech weaponry seems out of place here in Cimarora. It's time to do something about their presence. Okay. Oh, boy. This is a sizable map. Defeat the command unit. Oh, missed one of the three right there. That's not good. So again, we're going to be looking out for sappers and engineers and then any other higher level guys we may find. I can't believe those other guys don't see me. They're just standing there while this guy goes flopping around. <laughs> Idiots. He's an engineer. Whoops. Okay. Hin Hendry. Hendry. Is he a name guy or is that just a weird name on him? Uh, that's a name guy. Okay. Wow, this is kind of cool. these guys too. All right, Hendry, let's see what you made of. Doesn't like he was doesn't look like he was that uh disoriented from my wormhole. Something to be concerned about. Oh, this is kind of cool. I wonder how big this map is. Let's see. Ooh, this is all we've covered so far. Oh boy, okay. I think we're going to get a lot of use out of Wormhole today. That guy's a lieutenant. He's pretty big and, and uh, kind of bulky for being just a lieutenant. I thought he was a boss. Tough too. Holy smokes. I don't th think Singularity was pulling his weight on that last one. <laughs> he didn't seem to do much. <laughs> I am missing too. Tactical, tactical. Okay, good. They're all tactical. Got all three? Good. I'm still leaving with a little bit of sliver. A little sliver of life there. Come on. Very frustrating to have that little tiny sliver of life left. All 
right, I'm going to continue to work on this. I think we're going to work our way around here and see where it goes. We will definitely come back so we can see where the map went. So I'll be right back. All right, we are fighting uh, a sapper, an engineer, and one of these giant robot things. <laughs> I thought this would be an exciting one to, uh, to, to show you. <laughs> engineer out of here next. Yikes, he's got all sorts of trouble going on here. Oh man, another sapper. Oh no, what is this? Oh shoot, where are they coming from? Oh no, oh no, what the oh shoot, where are all these guys coming from? Singularity's almost dead. Where in the world are they coming from? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. This is a problem. No, no, no. Oh, those stinking sappers. Is that the sapper right there? It is. Come on, I can't keep missing. Come on, man. Come on. Be fair. Holy smokes. What happened there? Yikes. Well, the problem with this mission is it's a defeat all. And uh, so I've just been going around. I, I also went up along this top thing and killed everybody. I got some guys down here. But, oh, here are these guys coming in. Oh, they're looking for me. Holy smokes. Look at this. I'm going to go invisible. Wow. I don't know what, how they, why they called the cavalry on me. They sure did. We almost got this guy. All right, let's finish him off. Oh boy! Up until um, I turned on the uh, the video again, it was just kind of boring, just going around killing one guy after another. This thing is not uh, getting uh, held either. Thank you. Holy smokes. Here those guys come again. Engineers. Opera. All right, let's go back to invisible. We got to play this smart. Now the operative. Man, those sappers. Oh, I hate them. I remember those guys from years ago. Ah, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Please. Okay. Let's bring back my uh, singularity. got to be smart about this. I've already done the other side. So we're here. I've done the other side all over here and up here. There's still soldiers down this way and then up this way a little bit. Ah! I am missing... I don't remember missing this much on this character in a long time. So maybe these Malta have some kind of uh, 
extra defenses or something. I don't know. Another miss. Oh. Okay, go back to the killing these guys one at a time. So I will be back when we get closer to the end, and be right back. Okay, I think that this may be the last two guys on the map. I've been uh, trying, going around trying to find everybody to kill. I've been through everywhere, and it looks like these are the last two. One of them's a sapper, so I'm going to go for him first. And I'm just, I'm not going to warm up. I'm just going to go straight at him. Before he can do anything to my endurance. <laughs> Hey, this guy should be it. Let's see what happens. Got it. And we got eight reward merits. All right, let's see what happens next. Talk to Daedalus. Let's fly over to where he's at. A little in-person handshake. We leveled up. There we go. All right. Just barely. Look, I just barely got it, but I got it. Uh, while you're facing the multi faction on the field of battle, I completed my shielding device. Now that it is active, these would be invaders will not have access to Sweet Simorora. I am now free to concentrate on aiding my liege in dealing with this land's own problems without any interference from outside forces. I thank you, Force Factor 10. Not only are you a true friend to this humble crafter, you are a true friend to this land. Know that you are always welcome here. All right. Well, that is it. So that was the uh, that particular story arc uh, from Daedalus. It was the second of two. The first one was uh, three missions as well. Uh, the first and third ones were fairly simple. Uh, the middle one had uh, you fought an elite boss, uh, Ghost Widow, which was pretty tough. I managed to do it, but I did go through all of my inspiration, almost all my inspirations, and I went through two singularities. So <laughs> that, was, uh, that was pretty rough. Um, and so anyway, until next time, this is Greg29407 along with Force Factor 10, who's now level 44, saying au revoir, and we will see you next time.